Oh, I'm back at it at the Grove. Got my uh, CTX 3030. You can see how thick this stuff is that I'm hunting right now. This is like a knob that's got a bunch of trees that are down on it. Really thick, tough going. Got a couple of wheats. The other day I hunted this little knob, got a V-nickel and about half a dozen wheats and just got my first good coin. Got a uh, 1907 Barber Dime. I'm not going to rub it too much. I just uh, could see the date on the bottom. I know it's a barber. So now we'll get back at it and see what else we can find. Well, I'm back out for uh, day two. Uh, yesterday I found that Barber Dime and ended up with a couple wheats and about a dollar in clad. Uh, today I moved to another spot that I have. It's a ball field. Uh, it's just an open field in the middle of the woods that used to have a ball field in it. I have a few videos posted from last year hunting it with the E-Track, so I thought I'd come back, give it a try today, just try a different angle um, over a couple areas that did have some dead trees laying on them, and now the looks like the owner cleaned up the trees. Just got a nice little buffalo nickel. It's down about six inches. It's giving me a, like a 12, 15. But I kept hitting on a 12, 12, 12, 13, so I dug it. I've been digging all the um, repeatable 12, 12s, and so I've dug a bunch of pull tabs already. They're the old style pull tab. Uh, data on this looks like it's about 1930. And that's pretty normal for this area. I've dug a lot of uh, 30s, 40s, 50s coins out of here. Not a lot of trash, not a lot of clad, so it's a good area to dig all the uh, all the uh, 12, 12, 10s, 11s, and 12s, no matter what the what the other the conductive number is. So hopefully I'll have a few more. Squeak out a few silvers out of here today. Well, I made my way back to the picnic grove. Um, ended up with, I think, uh, a couple of wheats, a couple of wheats and a buffalo nickel from the uh, ball diamond area. Took a break for lunch and actually ate my lunch while I was driving over to this spot. And I'm working the woods again maybe 100 yards from where I found those two seated last week and just had a real iffy uh, 10, 12, 10, 12, 11, 40, 42, 43 in there but it was only good, coming good on one side but it was just sounding real real sweet from one direction dug the hole open I got a there's a piece of iron in there and you can see I got another had a coin in there too which is silver I'm not going to get too crazy with rubbing it, but I'll clean it up later. It's a, definitely a silver dime. It's got a... It's pretty crusted, so I don't want to rub it too much in case it is a seeded. Now this will wrap up for the last uh, couple days' hunts. Ended up with dollar uh, three in clad. And seven wheat pennies. The nice keepers were the 07 Barber in 1920 Merck and Buffalo was in 1930. Got a couple of uh, religious, looks like a religious medal. It's got Mary on it. And the other one's uh, a cross and then one earring, it's just a junk earring. So thanks for watching. And look for my next video, maybe in about a week or so.